Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ.com, and it's Patch Tuesday again, uh, and it's we're climbing back to our normal numbers where we had 81 vulnerabilities patched, but there's only three uh, listed critical, but I, I personally believe the three critical is kind of some fuzzy math, and we'll kind of break down why, and I guess the main reason is the highest rated on the CVSS scale got rated as important, not even higher critical, and some of those will break into it. It seems like they found little ways that they could claim it wasn't as critical as it was to make it seem not so bad. Uh, but ultimately, 81 total, three critical, three that were publicly known beforehand, none of the critical ones, and one that is being actively exploited that was reported from, I believe, Kapersky, uh, which was also not listed as critical. It's one that has to be used in conjunction with other things. Uh, so let's kind of break down some of the highlights. All right, the first one is this uh, CVE 2021-40449. This one is a critical one. Uh, this is the, or I'm sorry, this one's not a critical. This is the one that is actually, actually being exploited. And if we read up on this one a little bit, it's, uh, it's a remote code execution that does not require any sort of privilege to run and does not require uh, any sort of inner user action. So it just kind of uses a certain process where they can run some code. It's usually using conjunction where they use that with an elevation of privilege one and that gets up and running. Uh, the other one is there's an exchange one out there, and this one is rated a 9.0 out of 10 on the CVSS scale, uh, but it's listed as important. And it is remote executable. The reason it's listed as important, <clears throat> if we come into this one, is the attack vector is adjacent. So they have to be either connected by either to the local LAN, VPN, like Bluetooth. They just have to be uh, adjacent to that one by, uh, by network to run to it. So... While it is bad, it can be run without any sort of user interaction. They have to be on your network to be able to run that against your exchange. So they use that to kind of lower it down to important. And then the last one we're going over is the Microsoft Word, the 40486. Let's see if that looks like I had that open, but I opened it again. This one is the critical one. Uh, this one has to do with Microsoft Word. They say right here that uh, user interaction is required, but it says in their example that it uh, the preview pane works. So... Not necessarily. If the document's in there, if the document is corrupted and opens up in the preview pane, that's exploit still going to kick off. So user interaction required is not quite the same as the other ones. Uh, it feels like it's worse than it is. Just where they don't actually have to open the document, the preview pane can get you. If you have preview pane disabled, that's probably a, a wise call on that one. Uh, other than that, looks like we had some print spooler issues that were back. Uh, this one allows spoofing remotely. Ended up being not quite so high rated. And the other two criticals have to do with Hyper-V. Uh, I believe one of them, they can use the host to take over, or the, I'm sorry, they can use the machine level to take over the host. If they can do that, that one's listed critical. So if you're using Hyper-V, definitely want to get that patched. Uh, for PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.